guys thanks a lot for coming back to this channel if you're new here make it a point to subscribe already otherwise if you're my usual daily lovely family thank you so much for the usual love guys this is actually bright and i am your girl eunice does this thing look any familiar to you i mean look at this does that look like food <laughs> First of all, what, let me know in the comment section what this thing looks like to you before I even start opening it guys Otherwise, this right here is bathing sponge. You will not believe it. I know but yes The truth is it is bathing sponge and yeah, I want to make it I want to show you how we make our bathing sponge because most times we use this for bathing and in case It's not maybe a season where because this is grown. I just plucked it from the bush So in case it is not a season and maybe this is not yet ready because they have to mature because before you use them we always cut um the some i don't know how we even say it but maybe i'll show you that in another video guys right away i'm going to show you how to make bathing sponge out of this so what i'm going to do is first to heat it and the reason i'm heating it is just to make sure the cover is going to peel out easily it's not hard don't get worried after this i'm just going to peel it off and this is what it looks like from the inside guys you can see very fresh by the way because i just plucked it so it has a lot of juice inside but it's not for eating Meanwhile, as I do this, guys, this is also a business in my village, by the way. There are people who make this and just sell it. But for me, I just always make it for bathing. I don't sell it because I don't like buying, I told you. So I make my things always myself. But there are people who make this and actually sell. And it scrubs really, really, really well. But one thing I have to warn you about, in case you have this, maybe in your area, be very careful with this juice that comes out of the, it itches a lot. So if you're not careful, at the end of it, you're going to itch yourself a lot. You guys are making noise. So watch it.
So guys, when you're removing the seeds, you, you're not going to eventually remove it all at once. As it dries, because at, at the end of it all, we are going to leave it to dry. So maybe as it dries, you also put it back. You keep removing it in, uh, as it keeps drying, yeah? So you come back, check, and then you leave it again to dry as you remove the seeds. Like So it's just a process. It's not just a five-minute kind of a thing. But also, it's not as, as plenty as you may think. At the end of the day, it's, it's still very, very much cheaper than buying. And that's the reason I choose this. So, ah, let's do this. So, as you can see, it's a very, very good sponge, rough enough to clean the, the dirt off and yet gentle enough also not to hurt you. Practically, this is how we make it, guys. But though, after washing it off like this, you need to leave it to dry really, really hard. Otherwise, if you leave it, if you start using it like this, it might get rotten, you know. You need to dry very well. Practically, I'm done making my new sponge. Did you enjoy it or did you learn anything out of this, guys? Does it look clean? Does it look neat? <laughs> I love how it looks like when it's still new. Just see. Otherwise, right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Meanwhile, this is what I was using. I also made it, but now it's old, as you can notice. Yeah, it's really, really nice using it. So that's the reason I just made another new one because I'm, I'm almost throwing this off. So I have myself a new bathing sponge right here. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for the love. Continue sharing. Continue subscribing. If it's your first time, make sure you subscribe before you leave this video, guys. Thank you. I'm, off. I'm going to leave it here to dry.